with something to prove, or is that just the way the game went, where were you able to get the ball in your hands a lot? Uh, yeah, I came out with my room to show something to prove, but at the same time, I, I just try to be patient and just let the game come to me, because I found that when you actually press for stuff, like, it doesn't really play like you want to, so you just got to be patient. Hey, so up in the air, pretty high punt. Do you have a sense that you were going to have to run like that? Uh, yeah, we've we been watching film on them all weekend. Unlike the other team that we faced, um, that whole team, like, really back up and protect the front of the uh, doesn't get blocked. So we knew we would have time to get out and not have numbers. So we've just been working on it all week and then it paid off. At what point did you see that you had a scene there you would be able to do that? Once, once I seen Bruce Evans and, and, and Bryson Williams hold up the gunners, I mean, there was nobody else down the field. Did Michigan do anything different defensively, or did they do basically what you thought they were going to do defensively? Uh, yeah, they, they did what we thought they would do. Um, they played exactly like we thought they played honest. You know, they tried, tried not to get beat deep, uh, played their assignment, made tackle. They did everything that they did on the field. So it was a true Michigan team that we watched on the field. Yeah, you saw. On the left. Coming home on the MVP, did that today? It's just a real good fit for um, like I, just, like I said, I just want to thank God for just giving me, giving me the opportunity to come out here to showcase my talent. At field level, what did Kwame Dick sound like? <laughs> 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 On the last drive, Ace, so you got kind of shook up there. What was Did you just get the wind knocked out of you? Uh, no, nah, actually, it was actually on the touchdown catch. Uh, the foot that I got in, it just kind of got stuck in the dirt. And it just kind of twisted the knee up a little bit. But it was just a little contusion. So it was just something to fight through again. And that same flat made a cut on the same knee. And it just kind of started aching again. So. Were you able to get out there for the last play, the pass that went to mm -hmm. Bruce? Uh, no, nah, I actually wasn't out there. I was actually out there for the two-point conversion attempt. So. How bad did you want to be out there for that last nah, I wanted to be out there the entire game. Uh, I told Coach that I just did not want to uh, leave him with the loss. Hey, so the, with the ground game struggle a little bit, did the receivers figure that they're going to play a little bit more as the game went along? Oh, yeah, because we know the ground game is not moving. Coach, we're going to put it in the air. So I just told all the receivers to play confident, just, just play your abilities, and that's what everybody did. Ace, after such a huge game, does this maybe influence your decision for what you want to do for next year? Um, no, nah, not really. I still want to take some some time discussing with my coach, success with my family. Uh, I'm not in a big rush. Whatever happens, happens. Ace, coach said both quarterbacks got game balls. What's it like playing receiver with the quarterback rotation? Uh, well, as you see today, it worked out. I mean, it wasn't really bad at half time. I didn't even notice who was that quarterback. I was so caught up in it. Just making sure that I did my assignments correct. So whoever get out there, just tell them to throw the ball. Hey, so you get to talk to Marcus any before or after the game? Oh, uh, yeah, before the game. We were on the sideline for the entire game. We got to talk with him before the game, during the game, after the game. So he's still in good spirits, too. So it's good to see him. Ace, after uh, the outside departed last year, a lot of people had questions going into camp. I just felt like it was more of an advantage to, uh, for us because, uh, like, like I've been saying the whole the whole year, I mean, it, it get rough chasing a bunch of little five eight guys around the field the entire time. I mean, you can ask any single year; they don't want to do that because um, we we can run all day. <laughs> so, I mean, like fatigue is just not in our minds. So, I mean, like it, it plays out for the better. So we just work real hard at everything we did, make sure we catch all the balls, run precise routes, and just get the job done. <laughs> Big statement win. I mean, like I said, we battled fourth quarter, went all the way down to the wire. I mean, it just showed that the team still has a lot of heart and a lot of fight, and that we'll be back next year to do the same thing over again. After Clowney recovered the fumble, were you the primary receiver on that next play? Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, I was the primary receiver on that next play. What'd you get the flag for? What'd you get the flag for? Yeah, he said, oh, the flag? Uh, I have no idea. You know, I, I saw him throw the flag. I didn't know what was going on. I mean, I had my whole team laying on top of me. So I didn't know they gave me the flag, and I asked them why. It was just like unsportsmanlike like comment. I don't know. Talk about the back and back a little bit seasons now and how 